as it relates to Coach Kelly, I, I think uh, some of the anecdotal stuff, I, I truly believe it's not fair. Uh, if, if there's ever a time that he wasn't involved enough and, and that statement was made, again, it goes back to uh, the decision by the position, the coordinator, the recruiting coach, and myself that if we waited too long to get him involved strategically, then that's back on us. But all I can tell you is the recruiting coordinator is every time I've gone to Coach Kelly and said, this is where we are in the process. We, this, and, and here's what we're asking for you, uh, from you in order to get this thing over the top or, or keep us moving forward. He's always been there and, and he's always energetic and enthusiastic about it. I, I think, again, the national recruiting, I think it's unfair to, to think that as we begin to vet our board, that Coach Kelly's going to text every recruit on our board six times. It's just not reasonable, not with the amount of ground that we have to cover. When you compare other places where you're going to build their roster um, out of you know two states and, and they're not vetting the way that we are, uh, I just think it's a little bit different. So my experience, and, and I can speak specifically to this class, this world that we had to live in, in the 21 class, the digital world that we're living in right now, um, the amount of work that Coach Kelly did with this group via Zoom and phone calls and text messages, he was unbelievable. I mean, there was a daily hit list. Coach, we'd like you to do X, Y, Z. And, and, and he was phenomenal. So I can only speak to my experience. And look, in the end, the anecdotal stuff will, will be out there. I don't think it's fair. I think sometimes it's a little sensationalized, but it's the world that we live in. But again, from my experience, I, I thought he killed it in this class.